You don't have to spend an arm and a leg to greatly improve the audio in your videos. And just small tweaks can make a huge difference in the quality of your videos. You dig? Brian G. Johnson! Hey, it's me, Brian G. Welcome back. High five. If you're new to the channel and you want to not only upload your videos to YouTube, but amplify them, Ooh. well, make sure to subscribe and click that bell so you don't miss anything. When it comes to creating great videos on YouTube, it's really the viewers that decide the quality of your video. However, there are many things we can do to improve that viewer experience, and one of them is audio. Tip number one, proximity to the microphone. The distance between you and the microphone will greatly impact the quality of the audio. Right now, my mic is literally inches away from my mouth, and I'm using a super high quality video microphone that helps to improve. But I tell you what, the biggest bang for my buck was getting this mic stand and thus being able to position the microphone very close to my mouth. So what can you do? Whether you're shooting on an iPhone, an Android, a DSLR, think about getting an inexpensive microphone, an external microphone that you either plug into the camera or the mobile phone and that will boost the quality of your video audio and the viewer experience. Now if you're on an iPhone or an Android, you can find a lapel mic for anywhere from $15 to $20, not that expensive, and thus having the lapel mic will, will result in the microphone being again inches away from your mouth, that will improve things tremendously. And tip number two, room acoustics also play a significant role in the audio quality of your videos. If you've got a hardwood floor, the sound is gonna bounce and echo. Furthermore, if you've got a lot of windows or hard walls, again, that's gonna create an echo that people are gonna hear. However, find a room that's got solid lighting and carpet or find a room and leverage things like blankets and mur murals, murals, murals that you can hang on the walls to soften and dampen the audio. This is a great way to dramatically increase the quality in your audio and you don't have to spend any extra money. You just have to work smart and find the best location that works for you. And step number three, you can greatly improve the quality of your audio while editing. They call this in post. Most software apps, whether you're on iMovie, Final Cut Pro, Premiere, Filmora, they have an option, it's called noise removal. Look for that in your software app, in your editing suite, and that will help you to dampen any background humming or uh, a noise that you hear. However, I wanna mention there's a slight problem with this. You wanna do everything in your power to improve the quality of the, the audio before you edit. And here's why, when you start messing around with noise removal, you're gonna impact the quality of the entire audio track. It's very slight, but it is noticeable. This is something that I've noticed in my audio, in my video editing over the last few months, as I've worked hard to try to improve the experience for viewers like you. So again, take the time to improve the room acoustics, hang some cloths, make sure to turn off any fans, and these things will greatly improve the sound quality, and thus, you might not have to use something like noise removal while editing. And there you have it, a few tips that can greatly take your audio from okay to good to excellent. And if you wanna grow an audience on YouTube, if you wanna drive those views and gain subscribers, well, make sure to click the B to the G icon below. I'll hook you up with the latest news from YouTube as well as strategies and tactics that I've used to gain thousands of subscribers in a relatively short period of time. I'll see you on the next video. You dig? Poof, pixie dust.